Welcome to this on-demand learning video. In English over the past few weeks, we've been looking at synonyms and antonyms. Hopefully you can remember what they are. A synonym is a word that has the same or nearly the same meaning as another word. So we might use a thesaurus to find synonyms, especially when we are improving our writing. An antonym is a word that has the opposite meaning to another word. Have a look here. We have some words which are synonyms of wonderful and some which are antonyms. Amazing would be a synonym. But awful would be an antonym because it's the opposite. Can you see where the rest of the words would go in the grid? Dreadful, nasty, horrendous and appalling would all be antonyms because they are all the opposites of the word wonderful. But incredible, fantastic, unbelievable and astonishing are all synonyms. In maths, we have been focusing on multiplying fractions. And we know that whilst we can use an area model to do this, when we are multiplying fractions, we multiply the denominators of a number and the numerators. So three quarters multiplied by two thirds is six twelfths, because three times two is six, and 4 times 3 is 12. We can then simplify our answer by finding the highest common factor of these two parts of the fraction. The highest common factor between 6 and 12 is 6, so we can divide both parts of the fraction by 6 to know that 6 twelfths is the same as a half. We've also been looking at finding fractions of amounts. You will see the question, find 3 quarters of 200. To do this, we can pick use a bar model. First, we write 200 in the top bar as this is the total we are working with. We then draw a second bar and we split this into the amount of parts we are dividing by or the denominator. You can see the denominator is four in three quarters, therefore we are splitting our bar into four sections. We then divide our whole number by our denominator. 200 divided by four is 50. So each part represents 50. Each quarter is worth 50. We then use the numerator to work out how many of those parts we want. And as the numerator here is three, we want three parts. Therefore, we can tell that three quarters of 200 is 150. So we are adding 50 three times or doing 50 multiplied by three.